Hey, it's Phil from Euroheat, and today we're out at a job which we're rebuilding. Um, so another contractor's uh, attempted a system and it hasn't worked, so we're coming in and doing the right thing and, and making it work. Uh, and so behind, you can see there's a lot of pipes and tanks and a heat pump. Uh, and the question is, do you actually need a system this big? How much space will it take? Do I need to spend this much money? So I'll take you through that really quickly. So with a, uh, a hydronic geothermal system, which uses water, so the heat pump produces simultaneously cold water on one side and hot water on the other side. So that's sort of like your air conditioner where inside it might be blowing cold air and outside the condenser unit is rejecting heat. Our heat pump is producing cold water and hot water and we're collecting both of those and then deciding what to do with them. And if we have too much of one or the other, then we can then get rid of that to the ground or um, the ground water or the, the dam or whatever the ground or water connection is. So for that reason, we need to have at least two tanks. Uh, so one for hot water, one for cold water. And here, just behind me, there's a tank for the tap hot water or the domestic hot water, which is for all your showers and your, your kitchen and all your taps. So that's three tanks and they're pretty big. So they're about a meter in diameter about two meters high. So just to start off, you've got three tanks, which are three meters wide each, uh, sorry, a meter wide each, so a total of three meters. And then you've got the heat pump, which is just shy of a meter wide, um, but it needs a bit of space from, um, in case you need to do any maintenance either side. So it's easily you know, 1.2 meters that you need for that. So we're up to 4.2 meters. Then around the corner here, you can't see, we've actually got a wall where we've got all of our pumps and mixing circuits, which sends the energy around the house. So then we need another, let's say, meter and a half for that, which means we're up to 5.7 meters and about one and a half meters deep. So there, that's a really important consideration um, when you're doing this uh, kind of system is that you need to have enough space. Uh, next after that is, well, do you really need this kind of system? So I find that people are under the impression that Geothermal systems are just going to mean they're going to have no energy bills and that's it. That's not true. It is, um, it can be, I should say, much more efficient than a air source system. But air source systems have come a long way and some manufacturers make really good, really efficient with high COP air source heat pumps. So you might be able to get a COP um, or efficiency of COP of seven, efficiency of 700% with the um, ground source heat pump, but a really good air source heat pump might have a COP of five or 500%. So it's pretty close, but the difference between them is that you need a bit more of an investment um, for the ground uh, or the geothermal system. And that investment might be somewhere between, let's say 30,000 to a, it could be 150,000 depending on the size. So that's how much extra it can cost for the geothermal system. And the reason is that there has to be some sort of ground connection or water connection. So there has to be either an open loop, so we have to access the groundwater, pump it up, um, either extract energy from it and dump, or dump the energy in, send it back down, or uh, you have the closed vertical loops, which uh, means that you bore uh, probes down, which might be anywhere from 60 to 120 meters deep. And you need multiple of those because the capacity of those probes might be anywhere between six to 10 kilowatts. So um, say for example, at this house, there's a, a nominal 33 kilowatt heat pump. That's at um, brine water zero, heating water 35. So if we were to do a closed loop system, we would probably need around four vertical probes. And the cost of that might be 60,000 for something this size. So uh, if we go back to, do you really need a geothermal system? Look, geothermal is, it, it is definitely saves money um, on the running costs. It is, it is more energy efficient if designed and installed correctly. But uh, when you look at the payback period, unless it's a heat recovery system, it's not, always the most, when you look at the numbers, the dollars and cents and the payback period, it's not usually the best option. 
Um, there's a few different variations, but with the geothermal systems like this one, uh, we recommend them in houses where there's pool, where there is a pool, where there is um, floor heating, cooling, and where there is air conditioning, heating, and cooling, let's say at a minimum. And the reason is because we can do heat recovery here. And so when we're cooling the inside of the house, we can send all of the reject heat into the pool. So we don't send it into the ground and waste it. We send it to the pool and it's free pool heating. And that means you've lowered your pool running costs significantly because it costs a lot to heat pools. And even though you do, you might put your pool cover on, you do all the right things, you know, the, the heat still escapes every day. It's, you know, you heat it up, the next day it's cold. So it is great from that perspective. Um, the other benefit for geothermal systems or of geothermal systems is it's all hidden away. So if you have a room, say, uh, you can, um, have, you have space to create a plant room in your basement or on the side of your garage or something like that, it's perfect because everything's hidden away, it's silent, um, hopefully it looks good and uh, that way you don't have all these unsightly you know, heat pumps, multiple heat pumps and air conditioner units and things outside around the house. Plus, if it's done right, it shouldn't make any noise, so it's silent, so you don't hear anything outside either. So it's really good for, say, the inner city, where a lot of complaints that happen between neighbours are for noise, and especially air conditioning noise. So this eliminates that. So it's really good for that. So if you want a geothermal system for your building that's going to work, please do give us a call. We'd be happy to help.